Is it possible to create a trust for a home that has a mortgage? If so, do you need to refinance the mortgage to the trust? I'm always hesitant to answer these types of questions because I'm never surprised by what different banks may do at this point in time, or I should say different lenders, different uh, financial institutions or private lenders, because they tend to sort of have their own rules and what one lender does might be very different from another lender what one lender allows could be very different so the answer of course is going to be it depends um, but typically we see this most often when someone is setting up a trust for probate avoidance and normally that would be a revocable trust meaning one that you can make changes to during your lifetime if that is the type of trust you're setting up, the revocable trust, since you can make changes to the trust itself during your lifetime and you can change what assets go in and out of it, it's really considered an extension of yourself for legal purposes. And because of that, and because normally the owners of the home who are creating the trust um, are also going to be the creators of the trust. It's usually not an issue to transfer the property into the trust. Again, these same owners, the people who are creating the trust, are also typically the trustees. So it's not really changing ownership um, under the eyes of the law. So it really shouldn't be a problem for the lender to just keep on sending the mortgage payment to you. You're still going to be in the home, presum presumably, and you would still be paying. And again, it's really not looked legally as a change in ownership. And I think most lenders know that uh, with regard to revocable trust, trusts that are set up to avoid probate. Oftentimes, these, these homes do have a mortgage on them. So it's, it's not unusual for them to be transferred into a trust. Now, one of the reasons it's nice to have the option to do a ladybird deed and why lots of attorneys do ladybird deeds even in a scenario rather than putting property directly into the trust is with a ladybird deed, the property does remain in your name during your lifetime. It doesn't go into the trust until you pass away. And upon your passing, it can go directly into the trust and avoid probate. But it stays in your name, which is, you know, can be really nice for um, this, this particular purpose if you are worried that a bank might get weird about having your property in a trust, even though, again, it shouldn't happen if it's a revocable trust. But since we can't always guarantee what a bank is going to do or what a lender is going to do, um, this is one way to keep it in your name by having, uh, having the property in a ladybird deed. And another thing that we need to look at too with putting property into the trust is uh, the preservation of title insurance which when the property comes out of your name uh, technically you could lose the title insurance policy uh, one of the things that's important to look at is the attorney if you are putting property directly into the trust transferring it out of your name individually and into your trust you're going to want to use a general warranty deed uh, in order to hopefully not have any issues with title insurance down the road or you know if there is a problem that, that pops up this might be unlikely but uh, it's best just to make sure you have the right wording or you use the right kind of deed so i know when we transfer property directly into a trust uh, again i'm talking here primarily about revocable trust we use a general warranty deed to do that. Um, the trustee of the trust who is actually taking ownership of the property for the trust, that's typically gonna be the same person as who the owner of the property is. So again, all these things kind of help with making sure it's not a situation where a lender would get weird or think they would call the loan due because it's changing ownership because really technically it's not. Um, but as a fail safe, if you wanted to use a ladybird deed and keep the property in your name, you could also do that as an option because the property could go directly to your trust when you pass away and avoid probate. So I hope this answers your question. And if you have any questions like this or anything to do with 
trusts or labor deeds or estate planning, elder law in general, and you're in Florida, please contact our office. We're in Clearwater and the link is in my bio.